So, we're playing Tangle Tower. Uh, this has been on the uh, Patreon polls quite a few times, and I feel bad because Wegward has been looking forward to this. Uh, Wegward, did you gift me this? I should have looked this up before I started this stream. Oopsie doodles. Um, but finally, we get to play the dang thing. Nobody was voting for it as big underdog, and it looks cute. Like, all I know is that it looks fucking cute. This is gorgeous. Look at this. I love it. Also, you can't really read the chat, so I should... put this little color source thing behind you guys. Yeah, you've been begging for this game. I feel I feel bad. You you wanted this like, for so long, Weggy. It's brutal for you. <laughs> so this is like a murder mystery in interviewing people puzzle game, I think. We'll find out. Together. You ready, Sally? I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Is that how you say that word? I've always pronounced it grimoire. Just checking. Do you have the map? Uh, yeah. He's cute. This, this poof. Oh, you can't see it. But uh, there's an arrow down here. <laughs> That's where my map is. <laughs> Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Did you read it? Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. I need to make it louder for me. Broom! All right, murder victim. Freya Fellow, 19. Oh, cut down the prime of her life. Dialed while painting a portrait of an ancestor, it looks like. Um... Flora was present. She was posing for the portrait. A ancestor. <laughs> like, that's the word. <laughs> uh, she found lying on her back with a stab wound on her chest. No weapon was found. The subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the third in a mystery series? The first game was Flash and the second game was Mobile? Interesting. Ah, I made it too loud. <laughs> huh? A small painting on a scrap of paper. A few notes have been written in the ba on the back. Nowadays, it goes by Tangle Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. It's surrounded by a circular lake, the water is an unusual mix of colors. The lake is enclosed by sheer pale cliffs. They're too steep and smooth to climb. Tangle Tower is currently home to both the Fellow family and the Pointer family. This freaking. Oh. It's cute. I assume this is suspects and stuff. Rip. Although maybe she's alive, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those uh, mysteries where it's like you think they're dead, but really, they're, they faked their own death. And they framed somebody. I typed the Probably loving the Oops. confidence. <laughs> the boat up to the mooring post so it'll stay put for now probably there you go the confidence. that's a big lake i wasn't sure if i could click on it which is why i double clicked it's kind of purple it looks poisonous i think it's just water yeah water with poison in it it's the little boat we used to cross the lake it's the only way on or off the island what a comforting thought mm. Nice little tiny birds over here. They're so cute. It's a bird bath. Is that just rainwater? It looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. Water, huh? I love water. <laughs> They're even singing a little tune. Please don't do that. Is that important? Or should I write down do 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 do? It's a garden. Uh, we could walk closer to ready when you are. Oh, yeah, the little map in the corner. His voice is familiar. I'm not sure. <laughs> hmm. 
He's done a bunch of Flash game voices. Edwin Tiong. Mildly familiar name. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. Look closer. <gasps> Ooh, puzzles! This isn't just a regular statue, is it? Puzzles, 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 puzzles. Oh. No, yeah, I mean, I know that because we don't have any information on it. Come back later. It must do something. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Noted. Noted. It's a stone carving. Wonder how it got cracked. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. Egg. <laughs> this is some garden. Do the plants all look a little strange to you? Spooky. What do you think it's for? I think it's to scare away detectives. Is it working? No. <laughs> no. What animal is that? Hawk. Bear. Lizard. Right. Of course. A hawk bear lizard. The writing's okay. <laughs> it's quiet. Too quiet. You're supposed to say too quiet? It's not. It's an appropriate amount of quiet. Continue on. <laughs> I want puzzles. <laughs> I want plot. I want intrigue. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? Yeah, maybe it's an owl bear. Or bear owl. It's a little melody. This a, is this a tangle tower or tingle tuner? What's with all these melodies? I don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can I'm just... pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just go with one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the rule. This yeah. is R. Do you think he'll start to move if we try to go inside? No. I think he'll just silently judge us. Where's the O? What? Oh, there's an O on the floor. Oh, yeah. Tangle Twer. 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 Oh. What? Oh. Oh, yeah. Tangle Twer. 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 <laughs> Twer. Huh, there's a heart engraved in the tree. I didn't know people actually did that. PPFF. But we're gonna run into a lot of those. This is two warring families, not meant to to be in love. <laughs> I don't Zin. I don't know. I don't remember Zin. Um. Enter. Oh, you can also go around the other way. Enter. <laughs> yes, Luke. Exactly. tube filled with water. There are weeds in there. And sand. It's an aquarium? Could be. Except there's nothing living in it anymore. What is that? I think it's a family tree. I mean, yeah, look closer. Uh, the Remingtons. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Too much water. I need more, though. <laughs> ah, that could have been anybody on that uh, tree, I see. Stone Top. Damien Dusk. <gasps> now that's a fucking name. Buck Brackley. I bet he's a himbo. That's a himbo name. Buck Brackley. <laughs> Lord and Lady Fellow. All right, cool. Oh, man, we got options. Ooh. Oh my god, we could go anywhere. What the fuck? Wow, we can just fucking let's go. Let's go to the freaking crime scene. <laughs> wow, it's so dramatic. <laughs> She's look at this beautiful character design. I love her. Oh, it is a puzzle, baby. Let's take a look at that painting first. Oh, okay, fine. There it is. Unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. So, what? Frey was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. Oh, hi, Casey Explosion. Ah. Hello. 
I just started. Got here just in time. <laughs> That's just hilarious. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. This is gorgeous, this game. And something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. Or did we? The portrait itself Kill, killed her. But, uh, because it's Dev Freya. Freya was going to eat it. Laura's portrait is holding a knife tipped with mm. blood because it stabbed Freya. <laughs> What? You think Freya was stabbed by a painting? Why not, man? Not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting itself. Yeah, because it'd be spooky. Was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. <laughs> right, but it's not actually a knife. It can't stab. See any other knives around here? Palette knives. Case closed. The case is not closed. <laughs> and even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. It can in video games. Okay. The the animations are fucking cute. Fucking cute. I can tell from those animations that that person likes cats. Like, there's <laughs> something about Grimoire. Gr Grimoire? I forgot how you say his name already. Grimoire! There's something about his little, like, little shit-eating grin when he's got his, his head up that makes you think this person who draw drew this, they own a cat. That's a look that a cat gives. Oh my god. <laughs> She's incredible. <laughs> hey, Love it. Sorry Love her. Imagine. I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? <laughs> Nothing. What do we do? <laughs> Not sure. Awkward. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. I plead the fifth. Encounter yourself yesterday? Did you encounter yourself yesterday? Is that a little too philosophical for you? <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? I don't really know anything about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to. <laughs> <say that laughs> her. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's so cool. I recently bought a black lipstick, so if I wanted to, I could put it on and look exactly like her. Exactly. <laughs> but I don't want to. I already have <laughs> I already have lipstick on. <laughs> yeah, but think about going goth, why not? I think so. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. And it's also got a big crack down the middle. What isn't cracked? Oh yeah, I don't have a black turtle like. That's true. Place cassette tapes. Hmm. <laughs> what about the cassette tape? Yeah, it sure is. Pink. Oh. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Do you think it still works? The gramophone? Yeah, we could give it a go. Is that an egg? An egg with bird feet it's also covered in gemstones and it's cool what a completely ordinary object puzzles i think it's a container for something egg it's you open it and there's just eggs in it and it's like well hmm those gems look like they come off mm -mm. Rotate the egg. Do you see a clue on the back of the egg? Um, 
All right. Nope. Did you check the clue on the back? I thought that's what you were telling me to click. Gemstones. Do 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 do. Oh, okay. I think I. I think I get. Yeah, so like this guy needs to go to the yellow one. So. Um, different yellow one needs to go to a purple one. Okay, how about, how about this one? Um. The other purple one needs to go to a blue. Go, go easy on me. <laughs> I claim I like puzzles, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh... Could be pink. Well, they all have different. These matter. Like, where's this like box shape? There it is. Um, so that's right. Um, oops, I lost where that was. Yeah, it's all, it's rotated in a weird way, okay. Ah, I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't give, don't give hints. I'm just like really tired today. <laughs> oh, forgive me for I've sinned. I'll probably like fast forward through this in the VOD or give it a little time code or something. Choking on this puzzle, guys. I'm out of puzzle practice. Okay, uh, this guy needs to be. Where did it go? It's some pink. Kind of clue shush, that shush, 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 shush. Pink, pink and green. Um, what else we got? Got the little steppy ladder, little steppies. Um, and that needs to be purple. And yellow, which is right. Um, just got one that's at this angle. That's this guy. And that one needs to be ugh, blue and purple. Does it matter which one? I guess the long one could be blue. Blue and purple. <laughs> and that's the that's the steppy. Steppy is right. Um this weird one. It's like an L shape sort of. That needs to be blue and pinkish. There's L shape, yeah, here it is. Okay, blue. And pinkish. Let's see if it opens. I guess that deal with those lost means something. Um. Yeah, flipping it back and forth is, is a little bit annoying, actually. I'm just gonna take a photo with my phone because I just want to like compare it in real time. <laughs> okay. Bam. <laughs> This is why they tell you not to use your phone in escape rooms most of the time, because uh, a lot of a lot of puzzles are actually uh, time sync puzzles that make you just flip back, and it's like easier if you just take a picture of the thing. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So, where am I? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Steppy. What should I, what I should do is 
make my phone so that it doesn't rotate and then I can rotate it myself and then just look at the fucking thing. Okay. Okay, the steppy part is here and that is this. Okay. Wow. Well, it doesn't actually line up exactly because this one isn't here. This one's here. But um yeah, these need to be this way, this way. This is pink. Well, this, this is pink. This is blue, this is blue. Um, this is also pink. Oh no wait, uh, this is green, yeah. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> I'm fucking it up worse somehow. All right. I keep thinking like I need to look at the orientation of the things, but I no, it's just the just the lines. Why am I being stupid? Okay, well that one is right. Um I want to look at this one. Um this needs to be so I was right there, actually. Um, this needs to be blue to pink. Um, <laughs> yeah, the confidence I had in the phone is a little, little shook, actually. <laughs> this is a high security poly pocket. Uh, I feel like I was smarter before quarantine. Now my brain's all donked up. Uh, square. That's right. Um, the one that is just... <laughs> this guy. Yeah, this needs to be one of the green fellas. Maybe this green fella stays there. The... L is right. The <laughs> maybe it's open. The yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. It's just it's a lot of things to check. <laughs> hey, <not bad. laughs> Actually, it was bad. You know, <laughs> don't don't pa patronize me. Game. It was. I did bad. Light bulbs. <laughs> Nothing. Great. <laughs> Nothing. Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. And empty eggs a clue, right? Hmm. <laughs> Velvet like material. Well dang, now we have a cool egg, I guess. Supposedly, Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. It looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. <laughs> the goofy outline. I didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. That's not black. That's that's phthalo green. Mm hmm. The unfinished. So what? Looks that way. Freya's painting supplies. They're all cracked down on one side. Freya's painting supplies. Oh, I thought these were like going in an inventory. I guess they kind of are. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
A dying mixtape. <laughs> Everything's cracked. This place is falling apart. What was that? Ah. <laughs> Interesting that they had no comment about that. <laughs> plant in the entire room we're at the top of the tower right i think so why doesn't matter it's nothing hmm. interesting who else can we chat to what other cute folks are around here oh my god look at this oh, oh it's so cute oh, oh my god Fish? Yes. It's also a lamp. For some reason. Because it's fucking cool. Why are you so skeptical about all these cool things? <laughs> Sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. Grimoire. I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. And, uh, this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. Well, I must say I'm <laughs> rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, <laughs> covering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, gently speaking, you know, that sort of thing. I love him. <laughs> love him big time. <laughs> So, Felix, what exactly do you uh, do? Obvious. I'm an explorer. <laughs> explorer slash treasure hunter. Yes, well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that, but I have certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? <laughs> you <didn't hear. laughs> I may be between ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, it's in the fellow family has certain loyalties, and with uh, Flora the way she is... Uh, Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, Samu. Nice, thanks. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That was pretty good timing with the the sound effect there. <laughs> you're the you're the real treasure, Samu. Saran Far. <laughs> Why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason Ooh. we're here. Why am I so All sleepy? Right. Uh, nasty business. Uh, uh -huh. Unfortunate. <clears throat> I, I regret that I can't be of any help, uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. No, all the best. We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Oh, I'm sure you're up to it. I just... It's... Well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's... <laughs> working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? What qualifies as unusual? What have you got? <laughs> it was dusk. Yeah, the voice actors are nailing it now. Yeah. Now that they're talking to NPCs, I love them. Perhaps 
uncertain womb as life itself. A bridged version, please. Right, fine. I heard someone heading oh, down so the stairs. Cute. <laughs> just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly, oh. so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps <gasps> going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below. I didn't know what to do, <laughs> to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So I looked into his room, just in case, but it was empty, as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Fitz, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. How was Poppy there? Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. I stayed. Flora needed me. That seems like, uh... Inconsistency in your statement there. I don't know what that does besides make a cute little noise. Boop. I could talk to him about people. A remarkable woman. Been married over twenty years now. You two still get on? Of course. What a question. She hasn't gone quiet on you. It's true, she has an independent streak. She's uh, had it her whole life. She's the youngest of three. Always something of a lone wolf, you know? Just the way she is. Lone wolf is putting it lightly. She doesn't seem to want to talk to anyone. She just uh, likes time to herself, uh, away from the company of other humans. Other humans? Other, well, yes, uh, other people, you know. You're the one currently basking in his presence. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Seems like seems like a cool guy. I don't think he did it. <laughs> Uncommonly skilled as an artist, but Freya was so much more than her talent. She helped me get started with my own painting, you know. It taught me what she knew about wood carving too. Tremendous patience. She was ever so good with dear Flora. Freya and Flora were close. Oh yes, especially after, uh, especially the incident recently. How are you related to Freya? Somewhat distantly, as it happens. Uh, my father, Lord Fellow, was her grandfather. Uh, technically, that makes her a fellow. Let's just say, maybe there was some discussion over whether she ought to carry the name at all. Uh, there's a family tree in the Grand Hall. Uh, you should take a look at it. What about her inheritance? Freya's parents died when she was around three years old. She came to live here shortly afterwards. How are you related to Nobody her left parents? Thing? I'm afraid not. She had no formal claim over anything at Tangle Tower. Gotta look at that, uh... <laughs> oh, I could talk about all these things! Oh my god. Well, I want... Uh, real quick, I want to look at that. Family tree again. Because it's like, how can his dad be her grandfather without him being her uncle? That's my question. That? I think it's a family tree. Okay, so... He... Okay, there's Freya. We were talking to Felix. Ah, uh, so his dad... It's her. Yeah, okay, so it's his half sisters. So it's his half niece. <laughs> Is that a. 
Is that a term? A half niece? <laughs> God, even the relationships are a puzzle. Half niece. Oh no. Anyway, <laughs> let's ask about the stuff we found in that room. Well, this shit all cute. Nice. How do you know this treasure? Why else would it be locked? Mm -hmm. Plus, locked. there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map too. Ooh, treasure map. So we've got a little soypent, an X, got a distant tree. Oh, I see. A distant tree, serpent, X. Uh, is that a mountain? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right here. Um, so maybe it's I-4? I-4 North? Nothing. Did you check the treasure map for clues? Yes. What about that painting on the yes. itself? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, I guess it's further away than that. Oh, there's, there's birds to take into account as well. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, it's probably this. Because it's really far away. So maybe it's uh, H6 West. And around the horn. There we go. <laughs> the distance was weird. Perfect. What was in the box? Nothing. More wooden models. These are a little different to the one on the desk. Mm hmm. Painted stuff. How can you tell it's hand painted? Well, the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. <laughs> oh. It's a barometer. But I've never seen a barometer that wasn't broken. Yeah, it's true. The entire room is made of wood. Oh, it's not just made of wood. I think it's the actual hull of a ship. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's cute. A hammock. I would politely describe it as lived in. It's a drinking horn. Is it full of ale? Or mead? Mm, maybe? Mead. Right now it's just full of dust. Oh. That was a cute little fun little puzzle. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cute. Charming, isn't it? Meh. Yes. <laughs> the Rivington family originally. Dear Flora's father and his... Uh, <clears throat> Associates. But now it's owned by you? By the fellow family? The fellows and the pointers have both come to claim a certain degree of ownership. And who named it Tangle Tower? Uh, Flora chose the name. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> I think it was her intention that it uh, mean nothing at all. Uh, something of a fresh start. From what? This really isn't for me to say, but she has some kind of disagreement with her siblings. <laughs> After they moved away, Flora changed the name of the house. I think perhaps she hoped it would make them feel unwelcome. Yes, less likely yes. to come back. That's kind of extreme. <laughs> yes, it, it is rather, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? It's my case file. It's how I know what I'm supposed to be doing. You mean to say you're bound by the limits of what's written in this little document? <laughs> Sounds dreadful. <laughs> I found it comforting. Rather ugly, isn't it? <laughs> as far as statues go, years of wind and rain have not been like it. it either. Do you know what it is? The, the creature, I mean. It's connected to the Remington family history in some way. But uh, I, I can't recall. It's a good statue. It would have been a beautiful painting. Uh, 
Rather a shame Freya was unable to finish it. Nothing about it seems strange to you. Well, all these little modern paintings are slightly strange, aren't they? The emotion of the piece. Such a good from, say, animation. Anatomical accuracy. <laughs> what about the knife in Flora's hand? A knife? That's what you see? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Freya's artistic approach uh, distorts certain shapes. <clears throat> uh, hard to say exactly what we're looking at. Hmm. Flora's quite fond of that old thing. <laughs> hmm. It's in poor shape, though. Do you know what happened to it? Can't say I do. Could be a trowel. Could be half scissors. But that looks like it might belong to Poppy. Does Flora normally keep something in here? She must do, but she I must do. I never managed to work out what. Why not just ask? Drugs. I feel like if <laughs> Drugs. Keeps something locked away in a ceramic egg, it's because they don't want to be asked about it. Uh, Rules to live by. Hmm. It's unlike her to leave paint on the brush. I think we'll give her a pass, given the circumstances. Ah, yes. So we shall. <laughs> Looks like Freya's paints. Do you know why the pots are cracked down one side? It's just a no, thing she likes. Cracked odd. things. They're normally in excellent condition. You seem pretty sure about that. I'm interested in why so many things are cracked. Ah, you found it. What, uh, what do you think? Huh? I had to rush the final touches a little bit. It turned out all right, though. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? It's Flora, of course, surrounded by all her favorite people. Favorite. I've been carving for a couple of years now. <laughs> it was hopeless when I started, but it didn't take me long to master it. <laughs> do you paint them yourself, too? I do indeed. Uh, Freya kindly taught me the basics. Nowadays, I can make just about anything I can imagine. Of course, this particular model is a self-portrait based on hard fact. <laughs> hard fact, huh? So, you own a sword, Felix? Uh, of course. I own a great many. Uh, but my weapons are stored well away from Tangle Tower. Uh, <laughs> safety first and uh, all, all that. Uh, <laughs> That guy's a great voice actor. If the other voice actors are half as good as this guy, we're in for a fun time. <laughs> Alright, locked, locked. Who this? Hmm. Nobody's here. Not the kind of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. It's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. God, this game's pretty. Ugh. Ugh. That painting. That's really <laughs> Ew, <something>. it's pretty. <laughs> you want it looming over your bed like that? That's cool. I'm afraid I enjoy the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. Mm hmm. Lines have been drawn in with black ink around the edges. Hmm. Interesting. Pig in a hoodie. Freya's bear. Bear in a hoodie. Depressed. He's had a rough couple of days. It's a fish, I think. I think it looks more like a whale. Fine, it's a whale. Could also be a shark. That looks it's like a, a puzzle. Box for paintbrushes. To the casual observer, maybe. I could tell. I could tell it's a puzzle. I could tell. They're not real paintbrushes. Damn. <laughs> looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. Dumpy dum. Dumpy dee dum. Da 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 da. Doo. Can I like rotate these or not? 
Um, do, 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 do. Some of these are like roughly the same color, but I don't know if that matters or not. I'm not reading the chat. I don't want to know. I don't want to know the answers. I want to figure it out for myself. Also, you can't even see half of it because my big dumb face is in the way. i got to move my stupid ass somewhere else. There. I live here now, maybe, for a little while. It's weird, though. It's weird over here. Okay. <clears throat> Wow, okay, so. <laughs> so, these look like they go together. Um. Yes, now we're talking. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. <laughs> so this is the height. This is the f shape. This is the color, I believe. And there are six spots. <laughs> six spots. One of the greens goes in the second spot. This one, I think, can stay where it is. This one, I think, goes here because it's blue. This one looks like the right shape, but... There's no orange. I like the music. It's nice. Soothing. <laughs> Makes you thinky. Make you feel like thinky. Yeah, this uh, does not look colorblind friendly. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Especially because like, some of these don't look like they match. Oh, it's the color of the shaft. Doi. It's like, there's no orange there. <laughs> anyway, I think this fits the parameters. But I don't know if this is height or thickness. Because this would also be... No, I think that could be it. Nothing. No. Did you find a hint on it? Shut up. Like ripped up Shut sauce. up. I know. Shut up. Shut up. I know. I know. Shut up. <laughs> so... I'm not quite sure what this means. I guess this might be height. And if it is height, then... That definitely changes some things. Oh, I've got I've got this in. Do I have this in the wrong position? No, I don't. That's the fourth one. No, let's let's check out the ones we definitely do know about. This one has to be green. I've got like not a lot of information about this last one, so maybe I'll swap those. That was Each brush has no, no, I know, no. Information we need is on the I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shush, shush. <laughs> Um, okay. So I've got the fan brush situation here. Um, so this one has to be a fan brush. There's only two fan brushes. Um, so it could be... Actually, it should... It could be this. Um... This is still... No, because then that doesn't work out. Because this needs to be... This needs to be a green color. So I think... This... So if this one's green... This could be... Like this. Technically. I 
This could be the baby one. Hmm. Well, this needs to be a wedge. I think this works better because this is height. And that means this one is fine to be there. This one is also fine to be here because it's the shortest one and it is orange. This one is green. This one is fan shaped and has pink. This one is blue. That's all you need. And this one is wedge. There we go. Okay. Perfect. That was good. That was a good puzzle. Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. Look at this most of a photograph. Oh. <laughs> They're cute. That's green? <laughs> That's not green. It's blonde. That was a good one. I like that puzzle. Do you think this was always supposed to be a bedroom? I don't know. It is kind of a weird shape. No windows either. It's Freya's bed. A little bit messy. It's a perfectly healthy amount of messy. It's a little glass box. A little glass box. I think it's a vivarium. I always thought it was pronounced vivarium. I'm learning about all sorts of pronunciations today. Come again. See the leaves and twigs in there? Might have been for keeping insects. One little chunk a of hair. With a paw print pattern. It's a cushion. Yeah, but that doesn't alliterate. Brushes, pencils. Everyone paints in this family, huh? They're clean, but they look pretty well used. How about here? What puzzles await us here? Oh, she was in the picture. An illustrated book about birds. That's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Or. Or it's a puzzle. It was left open for us to find. Ever so slightly unnerving. <laughs> hmm. The ink dip. <laughs> Snow globe and a snow globe. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. Hey, look, it's a model of what are you that thinking? That would make an amazing, an amazing souvenir. Cute. Oh, I got a Chivo for checking that out. <laughs> Chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? Oh, baby. Math equations. <laughs> That's a good line read right there. <laughs> Math equations. Don't look at them for too long. You'll give yourself a headache. Math equations. That's how I feel. <laughs> Any idea what this means? Not a clue. Math equations. <laughs> Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive oh in these conditions. Her eye. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, Miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective. And I need to talk. Correction, you do not need to talk to me. Oh, her eye. <laughs> How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Any and all Speaking crimes. Which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? 
Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Who are you? Fifi Bella, microbiologist, inventor, innovator. She's great. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> Be more specific. Oh, her eyes so one weird. Cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter Correct. of? Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro. Fifi. Something or other. Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. <laughs> Not satisfied with the eye glasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. Wow. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No. But that would be most amusing. Good luck cosplaying this <laughs> critter. <laughs> she's like, she's built like a fucking like flounder or something. <laughs> Tell me about the murder. What can you tell me about? Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes. However, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too. So talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans, and she was in fact planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. <laughs> you got me. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. <laughs> she told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. <laughs> She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? <laughs> Gotta do science. Science don't stop for feelings. Name, Flora Fellow. Age, 44. Profession, unknown. Likes, unknown. Dislikes, I thought she was 50-something. Uh, isn't she your mother? How do you not know anything? <laughs> I believe other people may have discovered methods of reaching her, but I have little capacity for interpreting nonverbal communication. And how long has Flora been uh, nonverbal? She has always been quiet, willing to speak when necessary, but not more. So what happened to make her stop talking entirely? She suffered a great loss, something she has been unable to move beyond. Hmm. 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 Also, I could have swore she was 50-something. Maybe I need to look at the case file again. Where is the case file? Some other Name, thing. Felix Fellow. Age, 53. Profession, none. Likes, collecting objects of negligible monetary value and assigning them personal value. Dislikes. The inescapable realities of human existence. Same. Notes. <laughs> Felix is my father and legal guardian. And, uh, is he a good dad? 
I have no point of comparison, <laughs> but I would say no. No? Why he not? seems great! You asked me a binary question. Do not get upset that I provided one of the two possible answers. What makes him a bad father, Fifi? He has trouble expressing his emotions and something of a willful detachment from reality. Huh. Just like you, then. Grimoire. No, no. He is quite correct. <laughs> hey, fine cat. What's up? Name Fiona Fellow. Age 19. Profession Amateur microbiologist. Likes The meaningful archiving of information. Dislikes the superfluous window dressing accompanying the majority of human contact. <laughs> Notes. Kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given forename and refer to me instead as Fifi. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? <laughs> How are you related to the other fellows? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint, was my uncle. Was? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. He left Tangle Tower a long time ago. And what about Freya? How are you related to her? We share exactly one grandparent. Mm -hmm. So it reminds me of uh, a little bit of later alligator in that there's um, a lot of like relationships and I'm just like, whoa, who's related to who? Name, Freya Fellow. Age Occupation, 19. dead. Profession, <laughs> artist, deceased. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. <laughs> they exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Uh. There it is. Freya, who had a way of being an exception to any given rule, was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Do you know why? I do not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, try asking Poppy instead. So the three of you are friends? We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. <laughs> Sounds like quite a team. Can't wait to meet Poppy. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Uh -huh. Can't wait. Sure, let's go. Yeah, right. Fifi. <laughs> right, I wanted to look at the case file. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Uh, see, that's the wrong age. They called her 44. Or, or Fifi did. Was that Flora she was talking about? that's a clue um maybe i just have the wrong information or maybe there's a reason i don't know what that drink is but i bet it's 99 sugar this could also be alpha's room the ingredients, <laughs> but there's nothing written on the can that's even could worse. just be a slip up the devs decided to change this person's age and didn't catch it because no one pays attention to stuff like that it could just be a goof <laughs> Chandeliers. Extra fancy. I don't know. They just seem old fashioned to me. Plus, they're kind of dusty. It looks like a microscope. A big one. Can I touch it? Touch uh, it. I'm not sure this is a microscope. Horizontally slide the four magnifying lenses to the correct positions. Ooh. I have to make this key shape, obviously. So, since this one's very small, it has to go like that. This is... It needs to be unmagnified. <laughs> Not that much. No, that's huge! Ah! Okay, well that one looks right. I'm gonna say that's right. Um. This needs to be unmagnified. 
because it's too big. Is it too big? I don't know. And I can make it like double, double big. Oh, geez. Well, this one looks right. I think that's right. So with the three we got. Hide the gaps between pieces. I don't know what that means. And also, like, I'm, I, I'll ask for hints when I want hints. Um, as someone who tries to keep up on what the chat's saying, puzzle games are always a pain in the patoot. <laughs> have to be lined on top of each other. To be the right size. There. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dang it, I've got like, a, I've got a thing going on here though. My approach is interesting. Save it. Not interesting enough. Yeah, I was hoping this would be fixed positions because this is kind of a this is kind of a pain. That's hard. What the fuck? Why is this so hard? Like, this looks like the right thickness. I really thought this would be the winner here. I guess that's wrong. Four lenses all have so yeah, I know. Each have a specific yeah, I know that. <laughs> Start over. When in doubt, start over. I wish I just knew what, like, the ideal, like, the guide piece was. I imagine it's this chunk. But... Mm. 
I'm really not sure. Actually, this looks more like the correct... Yeah, see this thickness here? That's the thickness I need. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. Have I heard of a game called Heaven's Vault? No, I haven't. Okay, now we're, now we're cooking. A little. I just want them to give me another hint. You need to magnify different parts of the image. Yeah. Looks like you might need to yeah. overlap some of the lenses. I too. know, but girl, but <laughs> I haven't tried Paradise Killer. I've heard it's really good. Uh, Chip got it for Christmas, I think, uh, during the Steam sale. Do, 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 boo, boo. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Whoop. I didn't know there was platforming in it. That's cool. Come on, this is like so close. <laughs> this is rude. Ugh. Nothing. You want to close up all the gaps on the spine of the key. Get it all to line up. Start by finding the parts that are too small and make or vice versa. I, yeah, man. Yeah, dog, that's what he did. I just don't get it. <laughs> See, like, this is way too chonky. I think. And like, if this... So this is the chonkiness I'm looking for here, clearly. Way too much. Yeah. Th like, nice, that is good. Uh, Is it happening? Okay, things are happening, a little. This is a really tricky one. Whoop, is that it? I got it. It's tricky. I just had to do the same thing for the third time. <laughs> Sounds like it unlocked. Give or take. Yeah, it's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. Ah, secret diary. My favorite kind of diary. Hmm. Oh. You suspect. Don't think you can get out being questioned just because you're a bear. I'm innocent, I promise. <laughs> Save it for the judge. <laughs> Cute. Baby's got something pinned up here. What is all this? What is all this? Hmm. Relationship chart, maybe. Do 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 do. That's you, Sally. What? I do not look like that, do I? Is that supposed to mean me? <laughs> Why do I look so angry? That's just the face you make when you're thinking. <laughs> it does make you wonder, though. When did Fifi draw mm? this? What the fuck? Who's that? What the uh, fuck? Not sure. I think that's supposed to be Felix. Who 
is that? No idea. We haven't met her yet, technically. That's gotta be Flora. We don't know anybody else here. Did you notice who isn't on here? Fifi. Freya. Mm-hmm. And Fifi herself. Ooh. You almost had the key puzzle you just weren't adding key second prime to Yeah, I just couldn't figure out how to get it. Like I knew I had to, you know? Also, thank you. <laughs> 12 months. What's up, Josh Monus? Thank you. Yeah, like I knew, but I was just like, how do I get it? While overlapping. It just took a while. A pretty ornate window with a great view of the lake. We're supposed to be looking for clues, mm -hmm. not assessing the real estate value. And over here, you'll see the owner's used sheets of paper to block out all that unnecessary natural light. A simple trick, but it really <laughs> transforms the space. <laughs> He's kind of cute. Um, <laughs> These are such cute little icons. Oh my god. Let's ask her about her diary. I know there's like so many other rooms to check out, though. But I know I'm gonna forget to do this. A book. My book. And what's in it? Pages. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Alright, who ruined this? Ooh. Pretty. Whatever they are, I like. I like them. these bugs. These little footy bugs. Those are great. It's like a little parade of floating spirits. Oh, whatever it is, it's playing a little trumpet. While it Toot. Is music room, he's got to practice. <laughs> What's with all the broken glass? Burn, 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 burn. Hmm. Interesting. Who plays the violin, I wonder? It's pretty dusty, so I'm guessing nobody. Doot! Sheet music. <laughs> it's handwritten. That's a lot of notes. Looks pretty difficult. Probably why they're on the floor. Girl! <laughs> Are you a ghost? I love her. Sally! That's rude! <laughs> Unless she is a ghost. It may come as a disappointment, but I am alive. Ah. <laughs> That makes you a suspect, I'm afraid. I know. What's your name? My name is Poppy. I'm a pointer. And a pianist. We'll need to ask you a few questions about Freya. I know. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. All in the wrist. And 13 years of dedicated practice. Look how good, like, the hands are animated in this game. Like, have you noticed that whoever animated this fucking loves animating the hardest thing to draw? Hands? <laughs> like, look at that. Amazing. I'm just me. There's nothing to know. How are you related to the other pointers? My father is Percival Pointer. The professor spends most of his time hidden away in his tower. Really speaks to anyone these days, especially not the fellows. Do you get on with the fellows? Two of them, Fifi and Freya, are my closest friends. We all turned 19 last year. Do people ever leave Tango Tower? I don't mean to be rude, it's just if you're 19, you don't have to answer that, Poppy. It's a fair question. I'd like to move away, definitely. Fifi, Freya, and I would often talk about it argue about it. Freya wanted to leave, but Fifi, things are more complicated for her. What about now? After what happened, I really don't want to stay here. Love her later. tall head. <laughs> Three and a half hours of piano practice. Soon as I wake up. Same as always. Three and a half? Does that not hurt your hands? Sure. And you do this in the music room? No. I prefer to practice in my room. When I make mistakes, I like to make them in private. What did you do after that? I was supposed to meet Fifi in the library, but I totally forgot. When I finally got down there, she'd already gone. 
I checked her bedroom, but it was locked. Was Fifi not in there? No idea. She keeps her door locked either way. So I went back upstairs and out into the moonlight garden. The what? The little garden on the roof outside my room. Was it just you up there? No. Fitz came outside after a while. His room's on the other side. He's been teaching me about flowers. So, did you talk to him? Not really. You ignored each other. <laughs> I didn't say that. So you fucked. No. <laughs> Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. Then we heard this sound. It lasted about three seconds. I've been trying to decide how to describe it. But I'm struggling. It was like something drilling into a piece of metal. But different. Worse. Worse. I was pretty sure it was coming from Flora's tower. So we went up there to check. Her door was locked. Nobody a locked there. room murder! Maria and Flora were both supposed to be in there. So I made Fitz kick down the door. I went inside. Freya was lying on the floor. Flora was in the room too? Yeah. I think she realized what had happened at the same moment I did. I didn't know what to do. So I ran downstairs to get Fifi. Her door was still locked. But I knocked and shouted at her. Eventually she let me in. The lights were off. But I could see she'd already been crying. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. First time I've ever seen her angry. I dragged her out into the hall. My father was there too, for some reason. The three of us for went back up to Flora's tower. Then Felix arrived. He had Penny with him. Fifi had this idea. She wanted to do some kind of scientific test. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. After she was done, she went back upstairs and I went back to my room. That's it? That's it. I love her. <laughs> Needless noise from tongues expel, unless within the mouth they dwell. The spoken word unfit for dealing with the shifting form of feeling stand unblinking in the face of taciturn and soundless space. Hey, Redexus. <laughs> Forgone drifter, holding fast. Days as shadow seeker past. Is it bravery or surrender? Accepting that your world will render nothing darker than the gloom. Some four walls make round a room. Nice. Between the lips, a silver spoon. A story written all too soon. The chosen dwelling of her heart, unjustly chosen to depart. Lost her liberation lays in the center of a maze. Heart of head, but free of mind. Unimprisoned, unconfined. With starry eyes, she sees beyond. Behind our walls, beneath our pond. A soul untied, it's hers, it's free. Was then, is now, will ever be. I think she might have just dipped out. Maybe, maybe she um, staged her death so that she could leave Tangle Tower. That's me. I'm on a list of murder suspects. Always thought that would be kind of cool, but it's just tedious. <laughs> Falls a little short, doesn't it? Tell me about the harp statue. What do you make of the statue? I know that's the only harp in the whole of Tangle Tower. <sighs> I've never actually seen a real one. Maybe it's from before your time. Oh, definitely. You see how old this statue is? What about the symbols? One of them looks like piano keys. Yeah. Weird. Mm hmm. When I first saw it, I thought it looked like Flora was holding a knife with blood on the tip. You don't think that anymore? No. It was a stupid thing to say. The room was dark. I was in shock. I'm just an idiot. But it was blood on the tip. If you hadn't said anything, maybe Fifi wouldn't have checked. 
Exactly. It's stupid. That we would have missed out on an important clue. Is it a clue? Really? Tell me how it's a clue. Tell me how it helps. We don't know yet. Nothing about the knife makes any sense. It's just freaking everyone out. Wish I'd never said anything. Yeah, the music's really good in this game. It was my mother's originally. So, why is it up in Flora's room? She just gets the most use out of it. Freya would borrow it too sometimes. Does this belong to you, Poppy? Now that's not really my style, is it? But who else would own a tape like this? Literally anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what was inside? Nothing. Huh. Toot! Don't look at me. I didn't break it. Does anybody else use the music room? Yes. Yes. Who, but I can tell when somebody else has touched the piano. Is that Fifi's diary? I'm sure I've seen it in her room before. That's where we found it. Have you ever read it? Do you know what's written in there? Nope. I'm sure she wouldn't appreciate me invading her privacy. I thought you and Fifi were close friends. Yeah, we are. It's just Fifi's gotten kind of impatient with me recently. Do you know why? I'm not sure. I'm sure she'd tell you if you asked. Oh, she would. She'd give it to me straight. <laughs> Probably why I've been avoiding it. This is a photo of Fifi and Freya, right? Yeah. How come you're not in it? You're friends with them too, aren't you? I'm not really one for photographs. Fifi looks like she really admires Freya. Fifi's loyalty to Freya is unshakable. <laughs> I think everybody sees something different. Did Freya ever tell you what she saw in it? Not exactly. She said something about it being from a recurring nightmare. Sorry, but if it was from a nightmare, why would you paint it and leave it in front of your bed? Maybe she wanted to take control of it. Giving something a physical form can make it easier to deal with. Well, sometimes. I don't think she'll have much to say about these other things. Things. So there are two families living in Tangle Tower? Mm hmm. Three pointers and five fellows. Four fellows. What's the connection between them? There isn't one. Not really. It was all built by the Remington family. Flora is a Remington, originally. So was Primrose, my mother. She married into the pointers, and Flora married into the fellows. <laughs> so the fellows and the pointers own the house now? Flora owns the house. Depending on who you ask, that means her husband Felix owns it too. What about your father? His claim over the house kind of fell apart after my mother left. Where's your mother now? No idea. Interesting. Alright, Poppy's bedroom is unlocked. I wonder what's in Let's go. Now. <laughs> Oh man, goth dream. What about that diary we found in Fifi's room? Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. I just got here. Well, let's go. I tried to ask her earlier about it, like a good detective, but they said no. <laughs> God, you've given 301 gift subs? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, Josh? Madman, in the best way. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> That's nutso. That's nutso. Crazy nutso. What was I doing? <laughs> is this your diary, Fifi? We found it in your bedroom. Of course it is mine. Ridiculous question. Of course. Why is it locked up like that? Would you seriously require an explanation? Very well. A 
fairly common concept, the so-called secret diary is favored in particular by girls between the ages of 10 so and... So, there are secrets written here? This particular diary is unused. It doesn't look unused. Hmm... <laughs> Thank you again, Josh Monas, for the mountain of subs. It's incredible. I'm really, I'm really lucky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh, I just don't know. You just unscrew this. This is not very safe, like, you know, secure. Is it not a diary? Is it someone else's diary? Or is it Fifi's diary? Somebody else's diary. It's somebody else's diary. How could you arrive at that conclusion? It is kept in my bedroom. It is mine. Uh, you don't seem like someone who would have a diary. Something to prove who the original owner was. She doesn't seem like someone who would have, like, a diary diary? It doesn't look her style, you know? Oh! Oh! It's in this photo! <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Shit. Let's take a closer look at this. There you go. <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm so smart. It's this. Uh. This blue book is the same thing. This blue book. This blue book is the same thing as the secret diary. So it's probably Freya's. The same thing as the secret diary, which proves it belonged to Freya. You were hiding Freya's diary in your room, and you kept it locked, too. Why would I do either of these things? A secret letter. about the Freya's diary. Fifi didn't want anyone to see personal secrets within Freya's diary. Is this true, Fifi? I know Freya was your friend, but if you're trying to hide something, you did not know Freya, so this might be difficult to understand. She did her own thing, in her own way. By concealing Freya's written accounts, it is simply my intention to preserve her innocence. Innocence? Might be easier if you just let us read the diary, Fifi. Very well. I will open it. However, as you read it, please remember, Freya was the most kind and the most wise person I have ever known. I did it. <laughs> Finally, what's in there? Give me the dirt. Give me the juice. Give me the gossip. What kind of boys or girls or enemies do you like? 
It's back in the flesh this time. Was it me? Did I let it out? Maybe I should rip up that painting. Yes, something supernatural is happening. Soul bearer works. Impressive little thing. I have two now. Need two more. Found my way into the middle. Surprisingly simple compared to the harp. I saw them all five. Eyes blacked out. Despite everything, I still have a promise to keep. I'll do my best. She could do with a little company. Toot! <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's go to Poppy's room for real. Toot! <laughs> yeah, I'm liking this game. Thanks to whoever gave this to me. It might have been Wegbert, or, or Wegbert, where you just really stoked to see me play it. I don't know. <laughs> I should have looked that up. This is a, that is the bed of a gorgeous vampire. bed. Oh my god, I love this. I thought vampires slept in coffins. Reduxus, maybe? Oh, Reduxus, thank you. I feel I feel dumb for not looking this up before the, the stream started, but thank you. This is cute. This is fun. I like it. Puzzles have been pretty good so far. Only a little frustrating, you know. Reduxus does have excellent taste in games. You are right about that. Yeah, it was Christmas. Thank you. Oh, good Christmas present. Nailed it. Thank you. So sweet. This is a vampire who needs firm support for their lower back. Ah, so me. <laughs> this game is like saying, become goth, Void Burger. You can do it if you want. You can become goth. It's fine. Go ahead. A single red rose. How very traditional. Yeah, weird. Goth it up. There's a name for this kind of piano. You know, these ones that stand upright. Upright piano. Yeah. Various handmade posters. What do you think those symbols mean? Hopefully, nothing. This it's thing. A for keeping time. Looks a little too puzzly for me. It's ticking. <laughs> it's supposed to be ticking. Not sure what those symbols are, though. <clears throat> okay. Use the buttons to rotate all four metronome dials up to the hoop at the top. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, those are attached. These two next to each other. Okay, that these two are attached. Mm, beautiful. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I fiddled with it. There we go. I also don't like these kind of puzzles. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it was fiddleable and not like, oh, I had to pay attention. Perfect. That one. I, I just went into the zone or something. What happened? Little hatch unlocked in the back. Anything in there? Mm-hmm. It's a photograph. Part of a photograph. <gasps> She's cute. She's cute. That's that's the that's Poppy. She changed her look. She became goth. I can tell it's her. There's something about that pink cassette tape. Something suspicious. Let's ask Poppy about it. That's Poppy. When did you go goth? Confirm away. What can you tell us about this cassette tape? Is it yours? Uh, 
It belongs to Freya. She liked to have music playing while she was painting, you know. And do you know what kind of music is on this tape? No idea. Acid jazz. It's piano music. <laughs> Acid jazz. Sounds an awful lot like your music, to be honest. I'm sure it doesn't belong to you. Why are we even talking about this? Cassette tapes have been redundant for a good few years now. <laughs> the tape was found at the crime scene. It was in the gramophone. It's not mine. I never own anything like no, that. No, never. Not my color. You used to like these colors. You used to like these colors. <sighs> Ridiculous. I've Who always I've been goth since I was born. That proves Poppy used to like these colors. I have my black lipstick like right here. If you guys want to see Want to goth it up on the stream? Just got it in the mail. <laughs> going goth live! I'm going goth live. I got my little my little standing mirror over here. It's got plugged in and everything because I was doing my makeup on it. Wow. Now that's goth, baby. It's fucking goth. We're doing it. <laughs> I think I'll I think I'll look fine, honestly. <laughs> First I gotta like take off my previous lipstick a little. My previous lipstick was just like the exact same color as my lips. Can't even see it, it's getting blown out. We have fun on the void stream. <laughs> Gotta move the camera a little. see me right down here I'll switch to the big the big one actually so you can see it happen the the talking to the chat thing you can see the corner of my uh what is this my light <laughs> gothening yes start a sub train a hype train ah 20 what the fuck now that's worth going goth over cheers <laughs> happening <laughs> gotta be like really careful I gotta paint this on ah! Ah! <laughs> this dramatic music while this is happening. This is one of those uh, treat yourself sort of uh, gifts for myself. Oh, this shit really lasts. Being so careful not to like fuck it up. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my god, I gotta fix the, the contrast of the camera and everything now. This is all, this is throwing off the whole, the whole thing. Jeez. Josh Monas, you crazy, thank you. It's very dramatic music. <laughs> looks all right, looks all right. <laughs> That's true, if I keep the brightness up, I'll look even more pale and tragic. <laughs> the goth don't stop. It makes my teeth look even whiter and even straighter. Lord, okay. <laughs> Where is this thing? The game. I'm back and I'm goth. And. <laughs> We're goth like we've never been before. It, it's bizarre to have like pink on when you've got lipstick like this. There. Goth mode initiated. <laughs> now Poppy will talk to me. Okay. This bitch used to not be goth. That is a big revelation. Let's take a closer look at this. That you, bitch. It's you. Like, that just looks like you, all right? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a big purple wig, though, so... Do I look more goth with just the, the red on? I don't know. Okay, so, actual video game and gameplay. The pink cassette tape. And the pink cassette player fucking matches, and that is- that is her! <laughs> That's not Fifi. Used by Poppy. That's Poppy. Yes. the crime scene matches the pink cassette player used by Poppy in this old photo. Mm, mm, mm. That is not me. That's, yeah, it that's you. I'll prove it. Y you look, th it's you. <laughs> it's your fucking, it's basically your face, dog. There's no other women that you know, so there you go. <laughs> you look a little different, but Fifi and Freya are pretty recognizable. It's clearly a photo of you with your two best friends. Why'd you tear it up and then hide it? I think the answer is pretty straightforward. Poppy doesn't want to look like that anymore. That's it. Makes this whole thing seem kind of irrelevant maybe could be it depends on the reason the reason she doesn't want to look like that anymore the passage of time is a powerful thing well hold on this means that pink cassette tape does belong to you poppy it used to i recorded some piano music onto it and gave it to freya as a gift years ago freya could have easily been listening to this tape at the exact moment she was killed there's got to be a connection between the tape, the gramophone, and the murder. The murder. There's one other thing I want to know. How did it get that crack down the middle? Is everything cracked? I have no idea. Every single thing is cracked. There must have been some sort of incredible seismic force that cracked only a couple of random clue-like things. Okay, so. Interesting, interesting. Well, can we just discuss this amongst ourselves? Oh, okay, we've got a little thing. Okay, okay, okay. This is nice. This is handy. I didn't know about this. Uh, 
Yes, it was found in the gramophone. The gramophone is not a traditional gramophone. It plays cassette tapes. Um, do 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 do. I didn't go here. <gasps> who dis? New screen. Who dis? There's a metal plaque on the bench. Is there a message engraved on it? I think there was at one point, but someone scratched it off. <laughs> well, nice cave. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you, and what is your business Love them. Here? I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A uh, private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective. This is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> who are you, anyway? <laughs> private detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Maybe I'll become her sidekick. Hawkshaw. You're not on the Freya fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Ah. Oh. Right. <laughs> now, if you would, I have work to do. Yeah, we have an Edgeworth. You're right. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Love the... 133 Ugh, hours. So cool. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you... How'd you get that scar? It's cool. <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word. Although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer Staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder. So you weren't here to investigate the murder. <laughs> Out towards the stone square. Unless you're an assassin. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he too must be entangled in whatever was transpiring. We're gonna have to uh, talk to a, an inter interview a parrot. Before the gardener finally made his oh. appearance, he spoke to me of what I'd heard. <laughs> His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But sorrowful? Mournful? I cannot say. Okay. <laughs> Not used to having my lips be like this. <laughs> Stoic 
unique statue, isn't she? I can only dream of being as cold and indifferent as Flora Fellow. You think she's hiding something? Perhaps. She has some strange habits. I heard she barely sleeps an hour here or there, sporadically. Spends the rest of her time staring up at the sky. Did you get anything useful out of him? Not sure. What about you? Nothing worth committing to paper. I think he knows more than he lets on. Probably. But talking with him is so tedious. <laughs> I like him. Considerably intelligent. And her powers of observation are enviable. But she has no ambition. No focus. In her defense, she's still a teenager. Barely. Freya Fellow is of great interest to me. I perceived her to be the most intelligent individual here at Tangle Tower. Within a day, she had identified for whom I was working and for what I was searching. I didn't know how she did it. <laughs> I was impressed. I regret that I did not question her more thoroughly when I had the opportunity. You couldn't have known she was about to be killed, though. Could you have? I have only myself to blame for failing to perceive the signs. What signs? I do not wish to do your job for you, detective. Part of my job is asking people if they know things about the thing I'm trying to find out about. <laughs> Poppy has remarkable musical talent. She could be famous, wealthy even, if she wanted to. I yeah, should probably have to leave Tangle Tower first. Quite. Quite. 314 cases solved. 314. <laughs> I got I got to listen to that take again of Grimoire saying 300. 314 cases solved. 314. <laughs> Now oh, that's a good take. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good take. Oh man. A diary. Have you read it? Not yet. Yeah. It's locked. And oh, we did. Haven't attempted to force it open. That would be cheating. <laughs> uh, what do you think Have about you this? Have the meaning of those four symbols on the harp? We're working on it. That's a no then. Three hundred <laughs> makes quite an impression, doesn't it? Although I can't imagine why she painted Flora wielding a knife. You didn't see a knife anywhere in Flora's room, did you? I did not. I conclude whatever stabbed Freya must have been brought into the room from outside. Unless, of course, it was the painting itself. Surely you don't believe in that kind of thing. A detective's job is to examine every avenue of thinking. It's to detect. Love the music. You truly consider this a case file? What's wrong with it? No organization, no system. That's my style. I like seeing everything laid out at once. Yeah, it helps me think. How quaint. <laughs> She's great. I like her. Who's that? Not sure. It doesn't it's really poppy. look like anyone we've met so far. It's Poppy. Strange. A photograph of Freya. Could be important. Yeah, she's not really going to tell me much, is she? A book from the library. One of hundreds, no doubt. What makes this one special? It's about birds. Yes. I see that. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> is that a clock? Is that a puzzle? Can I touch it? <laughs> if it is, it's a clock with four faces. I'm guessing it doesn't tell the time. Oh, this is a two. <laughs> this is a nine or a six. So what this is does a six. it do? This is a three. Three, nine, uh, two, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. No. <laughs> what? Okay. 12, three, it's, uh, yeah, it's clocks. Uh, so yeah, this is 12, this is three, and this is, this needs to be at, ugh. 
<laughs> Needs to be at nine. Fuck. Crap. Okay, so this is six. I like that where it is, though. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, gee. Aw, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, crap. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> no! <laughs> the last one is six because that's the only orientation where it uprighted. It uprightedly reads six. If you put it here, it does not uprightedly read nine. This is a six. This is a freaking twelve. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm annoyed because we just did a puzzle that was very much like this, and I'm just like, not again! I did so good last time just fiddling with it, and it's like, fucking hell. Ugh. I've done a lot of escape rooms, so I've, I have I recognize uh, negative space stuff really easily. I'm just, like, cued into that for some reason. Anyway, this is a cute puzzle. So if we move this, next one moves. Oh, it's because they're all, they're like gears. I see what's happening here. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So if I were to move this here, and I were to move this here, mm, not quite. If I were to move this here, <laughs> well, nice. Uh, let's go the opposite direction, maybe. Three. No, wait. If I do that. Put this here. Crap! <laughs> spatial recognition can eat my entire ass. I hate it. Fuck spatial recognition puzzles. Crap. I have to do this while looking goth? This is impossible. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll fiddle with it. I'll get around to it. <sighs> okay. Okay, I need to misalign this differently. So that... This is... Six is still being a butt. That's okay. Um. <laughs> Goth are smart. The real binary. <laughs> Goth is negative four to puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I lose intelligence. Goth bimbo now. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Remain calm. <laughs> the gimbo. <laughs> Yeah, the gimbal, yes. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. The last one is a six, because this is the only way you can read it. You see this little chunk here? Look, it's not, it's not a nine this way. It's definitely not a two, a twelve, or a three. It's a six. It is arranged six sixly that way. Thusly and sixly. Oh, I just have to fucking mm, why am I going cross sided at this? This is rude. <sighs> just break it. Break it open. I didn't quite have it. Oh wait, fuck. I did have it. Thank you, Wegwort. Thank you. Blessed be Wegwort. Blessed be the Wegworths, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's the one. Hey, not bad. <laughs> I was just so used to being wrong that I was like, no. What's in the box? A little tool thing? But I'm not actually sure what it is. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Noted. This is such a funny face. 
AKA a greenhouse. Um, cool, a greenhouse. Whoa. <laughs> this one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. It looks like a gemstone, don't you think? Wow, cool. Hanging baskets. They're so high up. To you, maybe. You're only two inches taller than me. Two inches makes all the difference. That's what she said. Is that fruit? Shaped like fruit. Too shiny to be fruit. I think it's glowing a little too. Safe to eat, do you think? I'm gonna say no. Anyway, who's this himbo? Sally, don't move. <laughs> We're being watched. Yeah, I see him. He's a little too big to hide <laughs> in the bushes. Yeah, his eyes glowed. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right, sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Detective. Fitz fellow. The gardener. The gardener. And why are you so tall? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Strange question. This music is great too. You work here as the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. <laughs> the color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Wait, can you a little slower? Could you say that again, but like... In English? Slightly stupid person. Our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA. Sometimes. Alteration? Like mutation. That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And you're the local expert on all this stuff? No. I'm just the gardener. She do! I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Did you speak to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess, watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? I was up in the rooftop garden. It was quiet. And then, it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. We? Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Whoop! 
Interesting. She was always kind to me. She'd come into the greenhouse when I was working. Sometimes by herself, sometimes with Poppy. I think they were just bored at first. Eventually, they started asking questions. About what? Poppy wanted to learn about flowers. Freya, she used to ask me about the insects. Insects? One of my jobs is to protect plants from things that might eat them. Freya brought me this little glass box, leaves and twigs inside. She'd say, put all the troublemakers in there. Every day, I'd put a handful of beetles and other things in the box. Then she'd come along and take it away. I didn't really understand her, <laughs> but she was always kind. I like Flora. I hope she's all right. Do you think she had anything to do with the murder? There's no way. She wouldn't willingly cause any additional suffering for anyone. For anyone. Fifi doesn't like me. What did you do? I'm not sure. If you find out, maybe you can let me know. Who wouldn't like this himbo? Contradiction. His loyalties are placed firmly within the realm. Well, he's not a himbo. He's very smart. <laughs> Money, property, but his ego relies on an entirely fraudulent self-image. Don't you think? Ah, uh, I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> she questioned me. About what? My work, the plants. Yeah, he's a hunk. Bit of everything. Did she search the greenhouse? No, she didn't. You sure? Maybe she did it when you weren't in there. No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me, I can tell. <laughs> Have you met this guy, Fitz? Shifty eyes, doesn't say a lot. Totally suspicious, if you ask me. That's me. Yeah, that's... It, it was a joke. I was joking. Oh, I see. Ah. Uh. Poppy and I are friends. Oh, I can buy that. Dark clothes, blue hair, an average of three words per sentence. Oh, you like two peas in a pod. She's very Rude. kind, and she has an interest in plants. Unusual flowers, mostly. I've been teaching her. Right. Is something wrong? She do! <laughs> It's of no interest to me, but I overheard Poppy and Freya talking about it once. What were they saying? They were arguing about something, but I can't remember the details. Whoop! I gotta revisit that statue and see if uh, the symbols on it make a little more sense. She do. <laughs> this is a good example of how things work. I mix that soil here in the greenhouse. It's made with water from the lake. And it makes the fruit grow all shiny and gem stony. Sometimes. You never really know <laughs> what's going to happen. And what do you do with this shiny and edible fruit? Oh, it's edible. You look at it. <laughs> you look at it. I don't think he'll know about a lot of these things. I can always come back later. Do you know about this egg? egg with feet. It was locked, but we opened it, but it was empty. Fun story. <laughs> <laughs> Fun story. <laughs> Looks like someone doesn't want you to read that book. That's the main thing making me want to read it. Fuck. Fun story. Is? Uh, no, no idea. Okay. What's with the broken glass? <clears throat> Don't really know. Not super sure. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the fellow tower. This could be interesting. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we can always come back to that harp thing. Probably for later, anyway. Jack, there wasn't even a poster in your room. How can someone live like that? <laughs> an empty glass and an empty plate. Looking at it is making me want to cry. Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. 
mind. <laughs> it's a big empty space. Your room is as empty as your soul, Jack. Quit sulking. Not every room is going to be full of clues. Huh. Neither of these lights have an actual light bulb. They're just decorative. Oh, so decorative. <laughs> it's a little handmade card. Mm -hmm. Someone's drawn a heart on the front. Someone's hearting for the hunk. Inside it says, to Fitz from PP. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. <laughs> Damn it. That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think it would rather be outside. Pee pee. <laughs> pee pee! Ah, <laughs> uh, there's someone outside the window. Something outside the window. It's probably just a rock. You sure? Hello. Hello. Not hidden very well, is it? Doesn't need to be. It's just porn. It's locked. It's a combination, sort of. Oops. A combination lock, sort of. La la la, la la la. None of these are the shape that looks like this. No, they don't rotate. Spatial reasoning is hard though. Like honestly. And I think the that this has multiple answers to it. Okay, that's one of them. They line up in multiple ways. Yeah. There's another one. That could be that guy. Okay. Then, um... Let's see what else we got here. Here's one. This is uh, this must have been hard to hard to make. How do you make this? It's interesting. Okay, one of these guys is this guy. Um, last one I could feasibly brute force, but I don't want them to be like talking to me. Sorry, got a text. Um, do, do, do. Last one. Did I use... This. Did that one. Oh, there it is. Oops. I did it. What do Look I at that. Do? That's pretty good. Not bad. Anything in there? Yeah, it's wrapped in a cloth. Hold on. Huh. That's kind of ominous. Ornate trowel. I don't know if you have a warrant for this sort of shit. Um, 
Yeah, that was the first one I got initially, wasn't it? Oopsie. <laughs> it's locked, but it leads outside. I thought we were halfway up a tower. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Puzzles. It's puzzles. Oh. Move the tiles to the right slots. Nothing. The tiles have all got that same. Those moon symbols in the slots. Maybe they're connected. But all. It's not budging. <laughs> Maybe the information we need. So where is it? Somewhere else. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I don't think we have the information for this. <clears throat> Let's come back once we. There goes my two uh, logical answers. If you don't have more after uh, more options after that, you're just guessing, and you don't have enough information. Hoping we'd look out the window and be like, oh yeah, there's the there's the key code thing, yeah. It's over over there, out the window. <coughs> do, 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 do. Well, I probably can't bug fits about that right now. Okay, haven't been up here yet. Or there. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks for being on people's ass in the chat, Wegwer. I appreciate that a lot. You know, I've always wanted one of those. A mechanical solar system? What would you do with it? I would look at it. Let's look at it. <laughs> oh no, is this another rotating garbage puzzle? <laughs> Earth in the middle, sun on the outside. A heliocentric model. This is hella debunked. This thing. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a shadow puzzle. What shape do I want to be making here is the question. I don't think we know what shape we want to make. See, when this happens, this is bad, astrologically speaking. <laughs> Is it heliocentric? What is heliocentric? Whatever. I don't think we have enough information for this. Nothing. So there are two ways to move the Rotate the planets. And rotate yeah, I know this. Oh, wait, I see it, I see it. Ignoring. There's marks on the fucking thing. Yee. A doi de doi. A doi de doi de. De doi de doi. Now, do I want. That goes there. This goes here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, except now we're not really talking. This got fucky. <laughs> well, if I put it here and here. Ah! Sgoy! 
I'm impressed. Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Someone just said this one's hard. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's timing. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Did you hear that? Something unlocked. <laughs> There's a little hatch mm. on me. What's in there? I'm just glad they weren't connected to each other movement wise, you know, like like the other puzzles. <laughs> About to Looks like I'm good at escape rooms, but I, I have certain, I have certain logical, um, uh, weak points. And that's, that's not one of them. I'm good at, like, most visual things, but I'm bad at, like, spatial things, usually. Does that count as spatial? I don't know. Buggy. Mm-hmm. Buggy. A bell jar. What do people normally keep in bell jars? Other than bells, you mean? A spyglass to the stars. They're in very good condition. <laughs> That's a loud bug. What is it? It's uh, clearly some kind of large device. <laughs> You're not wrong. Ah. Well, it's tidier than my desk. Well, the notebook is untouched. It's completely blank. Ooh, fresh notebook. Ooh. So, even the most well-used notebooks start a blank. Whoa, makes you think. <laughs> a picture frame with no picture. Just bought it. Even the most well-used picture frame starts out with no picture in it. <laughs> Shh, listen. Is that his hair? Do you hear them? The stars. They're whispering. So quiet and yet. Look at that. So Look at these. What are they whispering about? Are they spreading rumors about us? I shouldn't think they concern themselves with such insignificance. We are but specks of dust, you and I. Mm hmm. Could the speck of dust start by telling me his name? You find yourself standing in the astronomy tower of one Professor Percival Pointer. Hmm. Seems like the hands are just I'm, I'm amazed by the hands and the other one belongs to the fellows well observed my dear tangle tower is something of a duality as it happens uh, meaningless boundaries really <laughs> they exist only in our God, minds it's a great animation love that ah <laughs> uh, when do these characters turn to cuphead bullet hell bosses <laughs> Imagine if a game did that, like... <laughs> just like a visual novel and all of a sudden it's like, Fuck you! Plug in a controller! Deal with this shit! Not much to say. Strictly speaking, I'm the current head of the Pointer family. And he's pointing! <laughs> father to my precious poppy. And... A professional astronomer? Oh no, that's just a little hobby. I mean, yes, I've studied the stars for over 35 years, published 17 books. Just a little hobby. Sounds like you're quite well known. You must bring in a good amount of money. Oh dear me, no. <laughs> My field of research has never yielded any kind of stable financial return. Nor would I expect it to. I am nothing but a humble interpreter for the cosmos. He sounds like a less annoying Billy West. Its message so that I may share it with the world. Cool. Tell the cosmos I say hi. Cool. The day began as any other, with blissful, unremarkable routine. I took my usual morning walk around the gardens. Fresh air does wonders for the mind. Did you see anyone else? Penelope and Fitz were in the greenhouse together. I didn't bother them, of course. I sat for a while besides the pond in the garden. It's a favorite spot of mine. Eventually, I returned to my tower and buried myself in my studies for the afternoon. Did you use your telescope yesterday? Once the stars began to appear. Ooh. 
appeared naturally. For how long? Getting tired. <laughs> I can't say. I've been known to lose hours at my telescope. <laughs> Did you see anything? No actual discoveries, if that's what you mean. So God, you were all around the astronomy tower. Must have been a while before you found out what had happened to Freya. Quite. Normally, I would be the last to find out about such a thing. But a curious tug of fate led me towards the fellow tower. Tug of fate. Evening. Give me that alibi. I was at my telescope for the majority of the evening. But at one point, I returned to my desk to look something up in a reference book. I couldn't find the book I wanted, so I figured Fiona must have borrowed it. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. She looked impatient and slightly frustrated. Same as ever then? Quite. I passed her by and went upstairs to Fiona's room. The door was locked, but I could hear shouting coming from inside. I recognized Fiona's voice as well as the voice of my own daughter. <laughs> I had no desire to invade their privacy by eavesdropping. So I waited for them to finish and come out into the hall. Before I could ask about the book, Poppy grabbed my hand and took me upstairs along with Fiona. It was apparent that both of them had already been crying about something. We went up to Flora's tower. Freya was laying on her back, right in the middle of the room. Flora and Fitz were already there. They both looked stoic as ever. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did, and then Fiona went downstairs with Poppy for some reason. I quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Why did you leave so quickly? Wasn't there anything you could have done to help? Don't take this the wrong way, but the whole ordeal is fellow family business. I I'm quite sure they don't need me getting in the way at a time like that. Hmm. 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 Sure. Sure. What's this thing? What's this? It looks like it might be a telescope. Thought you might know something about it. Well, it certainly is a telescope. It has a part there to screw onto a tripod, you see? It's rather small, though. I'm not sure you could see many stars with it. No. It's more like a binocular. A monocular. A unocular. Um. What a precious photograph. She hasn't changed a bit, has she? Who? Oh, if you don't know, perhaps I don't either. <laughs> That was kind of sweet. A very old statue indeed. I'd recommend you leave it well alone. The poor fellow's in bad enough shape as it is. Hmm. That's a very old book, isn't it? Looks like someone could have taken better care of it. I like the look of a well-read book. Better than one that's never been opened. Ah, well put. <laughs> <laughs> Um. <laughs> I haven't seen that tape for a long time. Who broke it? No idea. Ah, well, possessions are fleeting, my friends. I'm not over it. That's so, that's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Curious creature, isn't it? Some sort of amphibious bipedal fish man. Playing a trumpet. Playing a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> so, we found some research. What's up with this golden beetle? Is this something you're studying? I can't help you, I'm afraid. I think it must be something left behind by a previous inhabitant of Tangle Tower. I'm not the first scientist to ever walk these halls, you know. Well, it wasn't in the halls. It was in your astronomy tower. <laughs> find that painting to be in rather bad taste. Oh yeah? The knife with real blood on it? The whole thing is rather vulgar. Hmm. Can ask him about these things later. My poppy. My pride and pride. 
exceptionally talented pianist from a young age. She is... Hold on. Why is she on your list of suspects? Because she's a suspect. Oh, no. I can personally vouch for her innocence. She never... Well, the truth is, she loved Freya very dearly. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to Poppy's mother? Primrose? She was Flora's sister, a uh, Remington by birth. The playing field has never really been even since she left. Where did she go? Away. She went away. Away. That's mad sus. A listless soul sussing through the ether. What's wrong with her? Not sure. She's always been troubled. Comes from a dysfunctional family. I'd say you could ask her about it, but uh, I think you might find that to be a bit of a dead end. She's gonna talk eventually. It's gonna be a big, like, oh, <gasps> shocker moment. Nobody could deny her talent. She was remarkable, artistically gifted, but also highly intelligent. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. Was she ever interested in astronomy? I don't think she was. The fault may well lie with me for failing to inspire her. But I think she was captivated by more tangible things here on Earth. My daughter loved her. Fiona, too. That said, in the last year or so, more and more I begun to notice her by herself. Wandering the gardens at the most peculiar hours. She must have explored every inch of the grounds a hundred times over. Quite a restless spirit, I think. I'm surprised she chose to live at Tangle Tower as long as she did. That's me. I don't especially want to talk about myself. Introspection often leads to vanity. Wait, does it? Why don't we discuss the moons of Jupiter instead? I'm not sure if we have time. Aren't there like 10 of them? 16. Oh. Yeah, we don't have time. Really? 83? Is that true? <laughs> I thought there was like 16. Well, I want to meet the last person. Don't know if they're here, though. Penny? There she is. Oh my god, she's a bird woman. Oh! Oh, look at these birds. They're gorgeous. Check out that butterfly. Wow. Looks evil. Wow. Judgmental. <laughs> Ooh. But the birds are coming and going freely. Babies! <laughs> is that a metaphor? Oh, it totally is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she's getting reflected in the mirror a little bit. That's fun. My little writing desk. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book, although someone's torn a page out of the middle. Oh my god. It must be the book, the bird book page that- oh no, I, that's a whole book that I have, not a page. Never mind. And especially fancy cage. And it's home to three especially fancy birds. Ooh, look at them! Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, little toucan baby. <laughs> They steal your soul. How do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror? I do by weight. I can see <laughs> if one side is heavier than the other. Wow, wow. By weight. Where's the puzzle in here? I want the puzzle. <laughs> oh, just beautiful. What is it? Huh? Wow. She's great. Sort of a delicate jade, but with a little seafoam green, is that right? Sorry? Your hair, dear! Which shade do you use? It's lovely! And that shape... You're really pushing the envelope. <laughs> oh, thanks. I do what I can to offset Grimoire's beige on brown ensemble. Detectives don't need to be brightly colored. We prefer to blend into the background. Oh! 
<laughs> You're the detective. Oh. Delightful. Penny Porter. Pleasure. Is that short for Penelope? Officially, yes, but I never can be bothered with all four syllables on it. <laughs> Penelope sounds a little ostentatious coming out of the mouth, don't you think? Oh, uh, sure. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this little fuck on her head is <laughs> a dream. I love this little fuck. Look. <laughs> This gives, this brings joy. This little shit. Twenty something Aquarius loves to travel, and nearly all of my friends are birds. Travel? Where to? Anywhere at all, as long as it has species worth studying. Ornithology, they call it. I call it the only thing I've ever been good at. And have you studied the birds here at Tangle Tower? But of course. But of course. Do you think I developed my love of the field? <laughs> no matter where I go, I always find myself coming home to Tangle Tower. Because of the birds. Oh, no, because of him. Silly to admit, but I suppose I can't bear for us to be apart. Who are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, don't you know? This little shit. My fiance, dear fiance. He's not really the traveling type, you see. Fitz fellow, the very one. You're engaged to a member of the fellow family? That's interesting. Hmm. I'm not especially interested in whatever tedious feuding goes on between our two families. Fitz and I find it much easier to stay out of it altogether. You know, she's probably the PP on the trowel, but I don't know. Wasn't there a mention of Poppy hanging out with Fitz once? And I was like, oh, is there something, something going on there? What if that? But I don't, I don't know. If um, I don't know how old Fitz is. I guess is my um hang up there I awoke <clears throat> early and headed down everyone's a pp <laughs> to see fits he's always there crack of dawn every morning like clockwork how come that's where he's happiest that and he has a great deal of work to do every day watering pruning mulching whatever that is mulching with the work in the greenhouse oh no no <laughs> i wouldn't dream of it <laughs> <laughs> so Doo -doo. <laughs> you stayed with fits the whole day thank you redoxes yeah. In the early afternoon, he went back inside. Rather Sweet of you. Did he say why? He didn't. Probably just a touch of heat stroke, the poor dear. <laughs> He's more delicate than you think. What did you do after that? Let's see. I returned to the aviary to feed my birds. And how many birds are you responsible for? Officially four. But in truth, it's more like 400. <laughs> Can they not feed themselves? Of course. And they often do, but I think they just like the company. <laughs> As do I. I'm not over, head. I'm not over it. <laughs> Thanks again, Reduxus. Also for the game. Damn. All right, let's get her statement and then probably call it a stream because it's been three hours. <laughs> it's pretty long. Sometime in the Getting evening, sleepy. <laughs> I left the aviary and headed back towards my room. But in the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. He was muttering something. Seemed a bit upset, the poor dear. I followed him down, but the grand hall was empty by the time I got there. Empty aside from Detective Hawkshaw, who was loitering over Loitering. I don't know what it was, but she looked a little lost. I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow tower. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. For some reason, he was coming out of Fitz's bedroom. He looked rather lost, too. I told him I was looking for Uncle. He suggested we look up in Flora's tower room. We could see from the hallway. The door was off its hinges. I knew then something was terribly wrong. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Uncle Pointer was there. Fitz, too. Standing over in the corner with Fifi and Poppy. What about Flora? Of course, silent as ever. Uncle suggested we should leave. Give the others some space, you know. So he and I both returned to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Mm hmm. I like her snobby little... Little mouth. 
Got this tiny little cringe line. It's <laughs> an attractive face I made. Uh, <laughs> I tell me some basic things. Awfully well behaved today. I think they know we're in the presence of company. They belong to you. Why do you keep them in a cage? They need a special diet, particular treatment. I let them out to fly occasionally, of course. Uh, but they're all one of a kind. I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to them. Do they have names? Of course. Let me introduce you to Tabitha, Tamara, and Tatiana. <sighs> really good. I've already forgotten all three of those names. Which one is which? Oh, that's simple. Tatiana is the oldest, Tabitha is the most patient, and Tamara has the best sense of rhythm. Glad we cleared that up. What about the one on your head? On my head? <laughs> it's just my hat. <gasps> it doesn't have a name. Who would name their hat? <gasps> I need one. I need uh, this hat. Oh my god. Did Fit show you that? Not exactly. It's a hat. We found it hidden under his bed. Ah, right. A fucking hat. Ooh. <laughs> I'm I'm shook. Shook by that hat. Somebody taking an interest in extinct animals. Extinct. Oh yes. The book is very old. Most of the birds in it are long gone. Well, what about this bird, though? The ink dip. This one? Well, it was thought to be extinct for a long time. Then one was found here at Tangle Tower. So it's not extinct. Uh, you misunderstand. It was the last one. The very last one. Oh. Oh. Rip to that bird, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure I've read about this creature somewhere. Don't remember anything about him playing the harp, though. Because there's like a bird on it and stuff. Now, like right now. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's the last room. I have to. This game's good. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh my god! This loft with the bed in it? Oh, that's so dreamy. A little tea set. The monk's recently used. One of the cups has tea in it. What's in the other one? Birdseed. A little bedtime reading? Let's see. Romance novels, detective novels, and... What? This one appears to be both. Nice. That's some flower. There's something weird about it. It just feels out of place. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get to ask Fitz about that. Ooh, it's, it's cute. House. They're cute. They're so cute. Are those real birds? Ooh, they're cute. Oh. Nope. They're wooden. also cute. They're using up all the perches. What if a real bird wanted to use it? She's so empathetic to, like, animal life, nature. Swap the positions of the seven birds. Hmm, but why would I want to do something like that? They're in different... Phases of alertness and different colors and all facing the same way, but they're not on like a linear path. Is this also some of them have open beaks and some of them have closed beaks? Also, yeah, tag yourself. I'm also brown. <laughs> he looks like he's going, what? <laughs> kind of stoned. Uh, 
Yeah, like I'm thinking like this is like a family tree of some sort. And if that were true, if that were true, what would that even mean? Give me a minute to think here. So I think this is like bird marriage, bird kid, <laughs> you know, <laughs> bird marriage, bird kid. This one has its beak open the most. Or what are we inheriting is the question. Are we inheriting colors? That doesn't seem to be the case. Because if we were inheriting color, well, if we were, if we could inherit different things here, uh, maybe it's all of the things. Because if we were inheriting colors, then uh, this would be right. This actually, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is the correct answer. We're inheriting all of these factors. If this isn't it, I'm going to be pissed. Because we're inheriting the colors. And if you mix... This is also another not colorblind friendly puzzle, but there's other aspects to uh, take into account. Eye shape, beak shape, and color combinations. Mom and dad being yellow and blue makes green. Green and red make brown. Green and white make a light green that checks out looking left plus looking right equals looking forward this is just blinking cl the blinking closed plus looking forward is this guy and like sleeping plus this guy is like drowsy guy no that was it yeah man nice work and and the beaks and the beaks also were open and closed in different amounts, and that that is another factor as well. That's a... I like that one. That one's... sneaky. That one's, like, clever. I like that one. There's multiple ways to figure it out. I'll get her? That, that doesn't look good. Like the look of that. Traveling case. Empty. Traveling case. You mean suitcases? <laughs> yeah. Also, the family tree kind of foreshadowed that ahead of time. To to, it it was a sneaky foreshadowing to like put the to incept the idea into your mind to look for a pattern like that because there's very there's a couple of patterns that people naturally look for. You know, chronological order, left to right order, if you are in a left to right reading country. Um, up up and down, or top to bottom, um, clocks, um, and other, um, and color, and shape-based pattern recognition stuff. So that was, that was a puzzle that would have been a lot less fair if there wasn't, if familial system in place in this game and something earlier on that kind of seeded the idea of a family tree. I was gonna say this music does sound kind of elf mini but like not as um, manic <laughs> more and more background elfman stuff. I like that a lot <clears throat> I've never seen Coraline. I need to um, but this has been cool. I like this game a lot. I want to play more of it, but it is 11 o'clock at night and I am getting a little sleepy. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Cliffhanger, I know. Thanks for um, encouraging me to be goth. That was funny. Um, I don't know if this is my look or anything like that, but I have, I have the ability. Make it a look. This is uh, Kat Von D.
Uh, I don't have the autofocus on. <laughs> it's called Witches. Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches and slam in the back of my Dragula. Uh, yeah, this game is adorable. Thank you, Reduxist. Um, thank you for gifting it to me. This has been really, it's a, it's a good little, I like the intrigue. The humor is just, just enough to not be like irritating. You know, I like how the characters bounce off the NPC characters a lot. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think I'll do matching makeup and costumes. That is too much work, Josh. I'm not, you know, one of those YouTubers slash streamers. That's a lot of effort for me. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for not spoiling too much. I know it's hard with puzzle games, right? I hope it wasn't too frustrating for you guys to watch or you VOD watchers to watch either. Um, but yeah, see you guys next time. Stay sane, everybody. World be bad. Um, but you guys are cool. <laughs> so I'll take it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>